All right, here we are again. I just came from the federal courthouse and Allied Universal offices. I filed the suit and went down and dropped off the subpoenas at Allied Universal offices. Let them know that I filed the suit, who I filed it on. And I come out here, I figured I'd do an update out here where it all started. Here it is. Now, if you check this property on GIS, the owner of record is the city of Charlotte. So it's owned by taxpayers. So it is public property. And there are no signs restricting access to it. None. Not until you get up to those gates. Then they got card readers and stuff so you know you're not supposed to go past that but there's no signs telling you can't go on this property and look what they put up there those are new sounds like a challenge doesn't it And they put one over here. Now on my suit, the main thing I asked for is a ruling on the First Amendment right to photograph employees and what they're doing. The First Amendment right on photography on and videoing on public accessible public property that's not restricted by signs and there's no code there's no law stated on those signs right there and this cats all these trains do is sit here they used a bunch of federal state and local taxes to build all this train stuff and to buy these trains and Mecklenburg County has a 1% sales tax that's still in effect that pays for these trains so they're not right or funded not at all because if you watch these trains I watch them all the time most of them are empty they just drive around with two or three people on them And those two or three people aren't paying enough to fund these things, these trains, or these rails, and all these employees, because there's a boatload of employees. So taxes are paying for this, all taxes. Nothing but taxes is going into this. They're throwing away taxes. They spent a lot of money on this. A lot of taxpayer money. And when I get that ruling, I'm going after these signs right here. I'm going to see if I can get them removed. Oh. He won't wave to me. I wave to him. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, hey, he don't like me. Well, I'm going to walk around here to the other side because if you go over on that side over there, you can see a lot more. I'm going to go over there. Here comes a train flying through. And if you slow down and you can see in there, that was those trains were empty. I think there was a two, couple people in the first car, but the rest of it was empty. Huh. 
We're heading on over here. And here's the rail trail. This is public property. It is made for people to walk and ride their bikes, walk their puppy dogs. And it goes right past the train facility, the garages. This critical infrastructure. that they are so worried about being recorded. And you can see, you can walk right up next to it a lot closer than over there on the other side. But they took it upon themselves to attack me for recording over on the other side. See, because there's the other side over there. There's the other gate. There's that security guy's car. Over there where that truck's coming in. You can see a lot more over here. And they freaked out. And falsely arrested me as I was leaving the property like they said, told me to do. I was doing what they told me to do and they attacked me anyway. Right here's a sign here. See? Trail ex continues around building. So it's a publicly accessible trail. All's good and cool and fine. And see, it's City of Charlotte. The City of Charlotte flag flying right there. They only fly that on city property. Spanish for the Spanish readers. I don't see one in English. Let's see what we got over here. Okay. I want to look at that sign again. Oh, that's a bunch of languages, I guess. We can go to get the languages. That's what that's all about. See? Right here next to the rails. And you can record trains anywhere along their tracks. Anywhere. But they did a total freak out over on that other one area. On a publicly accessible cul-de-sac. People use that cul-de-sac to turn around in all the time. Still on the rail trail. Yeah, I filed that friggin' suit, man. $402. $402. They weren't satisfied with the $400. They had to stick the two on there, too. And there's the trains. The garages. You can see them really good. From right here. We can see all kinds of stuff from here, man. More.
Look at that. Look at all this stuff I can eyeball from here. Huh. And they've got no security over here. None. Telling you you can't go over here. No security over here telling you can't go in there. Or record there. Not go in there. It's obvious you can't go in there. But, um, they got nobody over here to arrest people for recording over here. Where you can see a lot more. <laughs> so doing something with that building over there last time I was here that building was just sitting there nothing going on at all Looks like they're redoing it. You're gonna open it up for something. Maybe they're lightening up on the beer flu restrictions and getting stuff open back up. It looks like it, but I wonder if these rail cars are ever gonna open up from that. People are still scared to ride that stuff locked into a spot like that with a bunch of people. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I'm going to go back around here to the other side again. Another train coming by. Let's see if we can see what this, anybody's in it. Three people there. Four, five, six, seven. Basically almost empty. There may have been 10 people in there. 10 whole people. I wonder how well they were doing before the COVID hit. And people stopped riding it because of COVID. Never knew the COVID was going to happen, so I never got any footage of that. So I don't know how good, how good they were doing before that. But I know now they are not making any money. They're spending plenty of tax dollars and making no money. They're paying for employees, employees, insurance, workman's comp, liability, medical, paying for all them trains, all that electricity running through that to run those trains. And not even making up a fraction of that in fares. It's just it was wasted money. That's a cat's vehicle. I wonder if they're following me. I don't think so. I think they just come from over there. I don't think I'm being followed by them people. I'm going over here to the other side again. Uh, back around here again. Staples is showing up. I was at Staples yesterday, photocopying all the stuff for the 1983 suit. Okay, now all these signs are posted on a fence, so that means would mean 
no photographs beyond the fence. Not beyond the fence. I'm out here. Now, Staples truck parked here. So, does that make it publicly accessible? Oh, evidently he's got a keypad or something, or somebody let him in. So, he's got business here, but I got business here. I'm recording on what's going on with all these trains just sitting around. Nobody riding them. The parking garages they built spent millions of dollars on those parking garages. They're empty. Nobody parking in them to ride the train. Hardly no one. I got video of that. Footage of it. Empty train. See? Publicly accessible. He used a cul-de-sac. That guy's recording me. Is he violating that sign there? Let's be friends! You don't want to be friends? You don't want to be friends. Why don't you want to be friends? Oh hell, man. That's about it. I make these videos to update on you. And nobody hardly watches them. Hardly nobody watches them. You only get a couple hundred views. So I get... People want them. So I make them. And then they don't get views. Right up into the cul-de-sac, he goes. Public's in the cul-de-sac, he's public. Publicly accessible.